Hey everybody, I'm back. Julie Miller from Premier Fitness. I've got another video for you. Today I'm going to do some balance exercises with you. So if you haven't already noticed, I am on the floor. So this workout is floor exercises and standing up exercises. So when you're ready, grab a mat, join me on the floor. Okay, so this doesn't require really any warm ups, so we're just gonna get right into it, all right? So the first exercise is going to involve some glute bridges. Now, if you don't know what those are, we're gonna show you right now. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you lie on your back with your knees bent, okay? So I want you to have your feet about hip width distance apart, and now we're gonna lay down on our back, all right? So arms are going to be next to us by our sides. So I want you to think about your arms as like a runway. Bring your feet as close to your butt as you can. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift. All right, so while we're up here, I want you to snuggle your shoulders underneath your body. So your shoulders are supporting you. So I want your shoulders supporting you, your hands supporting you, and I want you to be pushing through your heels. All right. So we're just gonna hold it here. Keep breathing. Keep your hips nice and high. Good. Three, two, one. All right, release it down. Next up, it's the same stance. I'm sorry, the, st the same position. So go ahead and lift those legs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do marches. So we're gonna lift and lift, good. So here, I want you to think about keeping your butt nice and high and keeping your hips nice and level. Good, keep going, keep breathing, keep pushing the floor away, keep your chin tucked into your chest. All right, one more each leg, and again, and release with control. Part of balance is releasing with control. Good. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit harder, so I want you to do what you can. The more you do this workout, the more you'll be able to do these exercises. So, hands are in our little runaway position. We're gonna lift our hips up. We're gonna snuggle our arms under, under, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my left foot, I'm just gonna hold it there. Nice, keep those hips high, keep, try to keep those hips level. Three, two, one, release with control. Good, right into the other side, no breaks. So your leg goes where you can, if your leg's here, that's fine. Just keep those hips nice and high and level. Perfect. Three, two, one, release with control. Perfect, bring it down. Nice job. I want you to make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists and your hips are over your knees, all right? Your knees are about six inches apart and we're gonna push that floor away with those arms, all right? I don't want any, I don't want any bending or I don't want any sagging. I want you right here with a nice flat back, all right? So the first move is going to be lifting your right arm. So it's almost as close to your ear as you can get it. And I want your hand to be facing me, almost like you're shaking hands with somebody. All right, so lower that down with control. Now with your left leg, your opposite leg, I want you to kick it back and point your toes down. Good, and bring it down with control. Now the other side, lift that left arm like you're shaking hands, down with control, and kick back with that, with left, that right leg. All right, so that's the movement, but now we're gonna put it together. So it's gonna be left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg, all right? So we'll start with my right arm, my left leg. So lifting at the same time, right arm, left leg, palm is facing me, and your foot is flexed down, and release. Good, other side, left arm, right leg, Hold it, perfect, bring it down. Right arm, left leg, bring it down with control, other side. 
Now this is going to take practice. This is not easy to learn. We're building up to it. Practice makes what? Not perfection. Practice makes progress. Keep going and holding. Good job. Bring it down and one more each side. So right arm, left leg. Hold it a little longer. Release with control. Other side, left arm, right leg. And release with control. Good job. Now we're going to get started with those half warrior two twists. So in a half kneeling position, I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to bend it in front of me. That left foot is flexed out, arms out to a T, all right? So I'm facing that wall. What we're going to do is we're going to twist toward that leg and we're going to bring it back. Good. Again. Perfect. Three. Four, five, and one more for six. Now we're going to bring it back to the other side. So we're going to twist, I'm going to twist towards you for one, two, keep those hips nice and quiet, three, four, five, and six. Perfect. Bring that knee down. Other one up. Arms out to a T. Now I'm going to twist toward that knee for a count of six. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six is the last one. Back to center. Now we're going to twist the other way. One, two, three, four, five, last one, eight, six. Perfect, bring it down. All right, for the next few exercises, we're gonna be on our feet. standing position. For these last few exercises, we're going to take these nice and slow, okay? The idea is to gain balance, create strength in your core. So the faster you go through them, the easier it's going to be. So I want you to take them as slowly as you can. So for this next one, it's called overhead arms to a high knee. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Arms overhead, and we're going to bring arms down to that knee. Alternating. Good, nice and slow, perfect, keep breathing, like I said, the slower you go, the harder it is, nice, perfect, almost there, we do two more each side, and I want you to think about when we're done, I want you to think about putting your feet down nice and easy. Good job. All right, next up, we're gonna do something we call, I like to call like a bird, like a flamingo kick or a crane kick. So your arms can be out to the side or on your hips, wherever you get your best balance. I'm gonna start with my right leg, so I'm gonna put my weight on my left leg, and I'm gonna lift that right leg to about parallel to the floor, all right? So from here, I'm gonna kick. Nice and slow. Good. Relax your shoulders. Good. Hard. Nice. Keep breathing. Five more. Four. Three. Two. All right, last one. Now remember, nice and slow. Perfect, good job. Now the other leg, so I'm gonna put my weight on my right leg. I'm gonna bring out my left leg 
and we're going to start for 10 more. Kick it out. Good. Slow and control. Gains balance. Gains strength in that midsection. Perfect. Reduce the chance for falling. Falling up steps like I do or down steps like most people do. All right, two more. Last one right here. Think about putting it down nice and gentle, nice and controlled. Perfect. All right, go ahead and shake everything out. Next is going to be what I like to call a star balance. So, arms are out of, over your head. Nice wide stance. So I'm going to take my weight and I'm going to put it in my left hand or my left leg. And I'm just going to balance. Bring that leg up and with control, bring it down. Good, good. Only go as far as you can control. Perfect. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Keep your core nice and tight. This is four. Do six. Five with control. Woo! Got wobbly in that one. Last one for six. All right, give your arms a shake. Get the blood back to where it belongs. Now we're going to the other side. All right. So my weight is on my right leg, arms overhead. I'm gonna kick that left leg out to the side. It's one, two, you can bring your foot all the way down to the floor and reset if you want to. If you wanna make it harder, keep that foot hovering. Four, woo, five, oh boy, that was a bad one. Last one, nice control. And six, perfect. All right, last balance exercise I got for you today on tap. I'm gonna to turn to the side. You can face me however you wanna stand. This is called a single leg deadlift hold. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep my hands on my hips so I can make sure my hips are nice and level to the floor. Leading with my chest, I'm gonna kick back my right leg and I'm gonna get as level to the floor as I can and we're gonna hold it right here. All right, keep your shoulders relaxed, keep breathing, look at one spot on the floor. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Now remember, nice and slow, controlled dismount. 3, 2, and 1, bring it back with control. Nice, how'd you do? All right, other side. So, hands around those hips. Leading with my chest, I'm going to kick that left leg back and we're just going to hold it here. Toes are pointing down. One spot gaze on the floor. Keep your core nice and tight. Keep breathing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Remember that dismount? Three, two, one, and with control, bring it back. <sighs> that is workout complete. Awesome job. Now with this workout, you can do it every day. Balance is very important in everyday life. Walking upstairs, walking downstairs, running down the street, doing certain weightlifting exercises. It's nice to get that body in balance. Now you're gonna find out that one side of your body is stronger and more balanced than the other. That's perfectly normal. We're just gonna work on getting it to even out a little bit. Well, thank you for joining me for this workout. My name is Julie Miller. I work at Premier Fitness. Have a wonderful day. Bye.